The new teachings on communion for divorced Catholics is one of the most high-profile moves made by Pope Francis, but here in Rhode Island, church leaders are taking a cautious approach. Eight months ago, Pope Francis released a document that signaled a new openness to allowing divorced and remarried Catholics to receive communion. All right, it's a pretty difficult scenario right now. After more than four decades in the priesthood, Bishop Thomas well, Tobin has said he's yes, witnessed the pain families go through when remarried Catholics cannot take communion. But he's still uncertain about the new teaching from Rome, which has drawn criticism from some church traditionalists. There are different interpretations, and I, that I find a little bit um, troublesome. Some bishops' conferences have said one thing, other bishops in another country have said something else. In the past, Tobin has been open to the possibility that the church should be flexible on the communion question. For now, though, Tobin is studying the Pope's document, searching for clarity. I have also established a task force here in the diocese, uh, comprised of about 20 people, clergy, religious, and laity, to study the document and to give me some recommendations. So I hope that in the new year, I will get some very specific recommendations about what to do with the document. And that's not the only Catholic shift related to marriage that's made headlines recently. The church also eased requirements for obtaining an annulment, and Tobin says he's seen an uptick in inquiries for annulments this past year. Tim White, Eyewitness News.